Bonjour, I am continuing my Paris adventures and today I am taking you along as I organize a French kitchen. I mean, I'm in Paris. I thought it would be fun to do some organizing and bring you guys with me. Today we're doing an entryway and kitchen combo. So it's a lot of work, but I feel like we maximize the use of this space. If you're new here, click that like and subscribe button and welcome to the crew. Happy to have you. Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. I'm excited for you to see the kitchen makeover I did while I was in Paris. But first I wanna tell you about today's sponsor. Upside is an awesome free cashback app I have been using for the last few months as prices have been skyrocketing here in Los Angeles and really everywhere. All of the things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis like getting groceries, getting gas in our car, Upside gives you cash back. It's really easy to use. I open the app, it searches in my area for all the different cashback offers. And so like for gas, I'll look for the best deal possible. And like I found one for 20 cents off a gallon, which is a lot. All of those little things, they add up so quickly. I get gas every week. I get groceries several times a week and going out to eat with friends or going out to grab food for myself. With Upside, you can earn three times more cash back than you do with credit card reward programs or loyalty programs. And then I can cash out anytime. It goes straight into my bank account or to my PayPal. Or if I want, I can get an e-gift card for Amazon or other brands. It's a super popular app. Upside users are earning more than a million dollars a week. And it has a 4.8 star rating in the app store. Totally free and they have a special offer for you guys to get started download the free upside app in the app store or google play use my promo code project and you'll get five dollars or more cash back on your first purchase of ten dollars or more so if you're gonna get gas in your car you know it's gonna be at least ten bucks and you're gonna get money and cash back it's like win-win all around thank you upside for sponsoring today's video and let's get into it Thank you for having me over. So excited to do this kitchen. Same. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to today's episode. I'm here with Selena. We just met in person for the first yeah. time. She volunteered, bravely volunteered to have her kitchen organized. She's been living here for about a year now. Mm -hmm. You know, when you move into a new place, I mean, it's overwhelming enough to move into a new place, but then to try to like organize it and set it up is yeah. it's a lot. I'm, I'm very overwhelmed, honestly. Yeah, like, yeah. that's the big thing is like, Especially because you could do one drawer, but then if you don't do all the drawers... It's like whack-a-mole. It's like you get one yeah. and then it pops up over here. We're going to do the whole thing today. I think we'll start with the entryway actually first. Doing this first will probably be... That'll probably feel very satisfying. And then we'll move over here to this half. The things that we're going to keep, we're going to organize into, you know, sort into categories, organize it so all of this is like really making sense for her. I was okay. like, oh, the internet is going to make fun of me so hard. No, 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 no. This is a supportive space. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to get started over here and uh, let's do this. I have two more kind of food storage containers and I have uh, six, I think, of these ones. Oh, cool. I got four of these ones. Spice microwave shelf. This is a pot and pan thing and we can remove these and make the places bigger or smaller. Okay. And then the toolbox in case we need it. Oh yeah, okay, we've got tools. This is a shelf riser thingy that goes over the microwave. Yeah, it's for the microwave. And then- um, That's cool. Oh, I got two lazy- spoons. Oh, good. Those are so like, good. Susan, is that her name? Yeah, yeah, that's it. I got these to hang um, mugs on, but I will say it came with screws, and I don't want to screw them into the cabinet, so I don't know if they'll be sturdy enough without. But oh, okay, they're the kinds you slide on, like yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, maybe it'll work yeah. with just sliding it. You can see. Okay. And the oh, and I got the paper, not the paper, but like to make it not slide. Yeah, like it's the like grip. yeah, it's like grippy paper. Drawers or I was thinking the drawers for okay. sure because. The stuff slides around so much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then we have a bunch of these general organization yeah. bins. Okay. I like how you have all these deep drawers down here. So we're going to kind of organize these just to be a little bit more functional for you. So this is kind of like general Tupperware, like kitchen tools. Yeah, these are like, this is, for example, something I use every day. So this is just a really convenient drawer, but the rest is kind of random. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then there's silver we're, we're above. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, I see. Yeah, so there's two. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, I really like how that's designed. And then that one's a... Ooh. Yeah, okay, <laughs> cool. Okay, and then down here, more Tupperware. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's 
see this one in here. Bags and like just random stuff. And a sushi kit. Why and a sushi that? kit. How many times have you used that? Never. Yeah. <laughs> I had a feeling. <laughs> okay, this oh. one. Just what is this like? It wasn't meant to be food at all. It was just meant for pots oh, and soda pans. stream pots pans. Okay, some food stuff. Okay, mishmash. <laughs> the fine. This is sort of like spices, pantry stuff. Yeah. Okay. All right, uppers. Let's see. So that's nice. So you have like all your wine, glass, and paraphernalia. Plates, mugs. And then things I can't reach. Can't reach so area. <laughs> all the can't reach will do like more storage. Okay, this is great. This is a pantry. Okay, so we'll organize that. And then this one is for your yeah, hood. It's so kind of like your. We can put a shelf in really, but we can definitely put some stuff in there. Okay, we can always use it as storage. And that's the oven dishwasher combo. Oh, is it really? Yeah, it's a really tiny dishwasher. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's so cool. I didn't even know it existed, but yeah. Wow, I've never seen anything like that. That is awesome. Ooh, it really works for us. that's cute. For two people. Yeah. Okay, and then countertop space, this whole cabinet area here. This is kind of a coffee drawer. Yeah, this is a coffee drawer vaguely. There's also <laughs> a box of masks. Um, oh. That's actually, kind yeah. Of chic. Yes. Uh, this is important papers and extra keys. Uh, <laughs> and a horrible painting of a cat. Oh. Uh, that I did. And I'm very ashamed. And uh, it's, so it's like hiding. my cat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what's That's in this drawer. Really guinea pig supplies. Okay. Oh, yeah. We've got a couple of guinea pigs hiding here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then we've got miscellaneous sort of cleaning stuff oh. okay we've got some bags on bags on bags i have the same thing in my area and then this one's missing the door but we can still use this kind of like yeah. to organize everything have been emptied we're gonna do a little bit of speed cleaning of the inside of the drawers Take about five minutes to clear everything out here's the bounty <laughs> it's always shocking to see how much is hidden in cabinets and drawers this was actually on the countertop so that's not part of it but all of this over here oh, God. <laughs> it's just miscellaneous <laughs> random stuff so we're gonna sort through and um, yeah, we'll do that now. This unit has been emptied out. We just have this stuff on top. Sorry, we have everything out. So we've got our recycle bag, our donate bag, and our trash bag. We literally just do one item, one item at a time. One item at a time. I made that, so I'll keep it. Keeper. Uh, that needs to go in the bathroom. Okay. I think it's not empty. Yeah, and relocate. There's probably gonna be yeah. things that need to be relocated. Uh, should we sort a bag for that or? Oh yeah, yeah. All right. I don't know where to put that. I don't okay, want to keep, keep it though. Yeah. yeah we'll, we'll figure out where to put things later. Um, this needs to go definitely in like guinea pig stuff. That is guinea pig medication, okay. just in case we need it in the future. Perfect. This is cute. This. That's for the guinea pigs too. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to move that. That's my boyfriend's. It was from his dad's like expo. So. Okay. Uh, we'll keep that. We have okay. not use it, but you don't know. Yeah. That's for the garden. So yeah. Okay, garden supplies. Mm -hmm. All garden. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, we can throw that away. Yeah. All right. Um, we can throw those. Those are used. Trash. Yeah. Trash. Yeah. Trash. Mm -hmm. Okay. For vacuum plug. Oh, for the handle? Yeah. You want to plug it in in case we need yeah, it? Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. This looks like another SPF bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> my, I think my thinking was like, I put it there, I'll use it more. Trash. Yeah. Yeah. Trash. Is this for the guinea pigs? Yeah, that's for the guinea pigs. Just in case. Uh, that is sewing stuff, so I guess I'll put that in my room. Your I don't really want them. Room. I think I should just give them away. Yeah. Uh, we'll just, keep that. Yeah, this is a mixer. Steamer. Oh, it's a mixer. Okay. I think this is trash. Yeah. Right? 
Uh, I don't actually know, so maybe... Oh, I think it's a drawer thing. Oh, that I think has to do with a guinea pig thing. That is, uh, a f that is a... I don't know what that is, so I'm gonna give it to my boyfriend okay. to see if it's boyfriend. Yeah. Code sentimental value. Okay. I don't know. Those are just hand sanitizers. I don't know where to put them, but I think it's nice to have them by the door. Okay, so... Especially with winter coming. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Like that. That's really what decluttering is. It's making hundreds to thousands of small decisions. And I wanted to leave that part in so you could see what it looks like to just pick up the item and decide, is this a keep? Is it a donate? Is it a recyclable? Is it something that needs to be relocated? Some of the stuff belonged to her boyfriend that she wanted him to sort through. So we just, one item at a time, picked it up, made a decision. And it might seem tedious or time consuming, but it's actually the fastest way to get through a pile of random stuff, especially when you're dealing with kind of a junk drawer or utility drawer. So this we do need to keep. And this is some extra construction stuff. Uh, we could put it all in this Ikea bag. Mm, maybe, let's see. Okay, um, but all of this stuff we do need to keep, but we can okay. like, yeah, take we'll it from this good. and put it into oh, something else if we so want. So this is all together, like construction stuff yeah. like this. Okay, we'll Basically, I just don't want to throw something away that could be important. Yeah. This is a glove of my boyfriend and a knee brace of my boyfriend. Okay, so this is boyfriend stuff for yeah. you to decide. Let's start a boyfriend bag, because he needs to make decisions about it. <laughs> let's okay. start a boyfriend bag. Uh, uh, most of this is this stuff. Everything. Not, not everything. everything. Not everything. Yeah, let's keep it separate just so he has yeah. like his own project. <laughs> well, he's gonna love that. <laughs> Well, it was like so two weeks to Halloween, um, six weeks to Thanksgiving, eight, 10 weeks to yeah! Christmas, 12 weeks till the new year. I was like, oh my God. Okay, so these are your soda stream empty ones that you're gonna yeah. recycle. Yeah. So because this is like something you're gonna process, we'll keep it out on this open shelf yeah. so that you can remember to do it. Yeah. Cause it's like when things are out of sight. Yeah, they were in the yeah. Okay, so and then this is our construction stuff. Yeah, we can combine that. Like that. Okay. Um, this? this is construction stuff and then um, like manuals for the kitchen and like things that I don't feel comfortable throwing away. Okay, so this is all kitchen supplies. Yeah. Stuff. Okay, so let's start. Maybe so we, yeah, yeah, like we can put it in the bed. Let me go get it. Starting a bin for all of her paperwork for the kitchen that they built. Yeah. I love this. That's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, what the hell am I even filming? I'm like getting. <laughs> so we started a box with all of her manuals from the kitchen that they built, and then just miscellaneous parts and pieces for everything in case they ever need any kind of like repairs. So we've got this now organized into a nice little bin. Perfect. This can be stored out of sight, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord, that's heavier than I thought. I actually end up using, I mean, I can recycle a few of the bags, but. Oh, she's got a bag <laughs> issue. I do end up using most of them for recycling because here you have to put your recycling in something recyclable. Okay. So I oh, got it. put it in paper bags. Okay, so. so you know what we'll do? We'll just start, let's start another bin then. That, so oh. they're not just loose because then they yeah. topple out. So we can just start another bin and store it in there. We've got... What's the largest one you have? These Is, are, are the largest. Oh, they are? Okay, let's see then. These ones are really stuck together. Oh okay, that might be too small. Do you have any, like, what about one of these gray things that are empty? Oh, yeah, we could put it in one of let's these. As long as that. we put it in this... Uh, okay. Just so you, Yeah, yeah. That works for me. Actually, let's put it in this one because I do use them frequently, so... Um, I'll put it in one of the front ones. Okay, perfect. That's a Okay, say that again. That's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna put all of these loose brown bags into this bin here and it'll be out on this open shelving unit. So no top, easy access, and then it's out there where you can like grab it because she uses it for recycling. It was so satisfying to gather all of those loose bags that were messy in the cabinet and put them into a box. Easy solution, easy access. So she has this one pretty gift box that she wants to keep. So we're gonna put some of the Christmas supplies into here. This is her Christmas zone. <laughs> I love it. Do you do a Christmas tree? Yeah, we used to have one um, in a pot, oh, like for yeah. every year. Like a live one? Yeah, but uh, he died. <laughs> oh yeah. <clears throat> so we need to buy a new one because yeah. it, it was a fun tradition. We had one for, I think three years, three oh, Christmases. 
That's the best part of like the Christmas time is making the traditions. Yeah. I love that. Okay, let's see. Uh, we've already done, we've cleared all this out. We sorted the bags. We have this stuff now to just kind of organize and put back into the drawers. This top part, this is her Nespresso machine, her soda stream. Is this your blender? Yeah. Blender, microwave. So this is kind of like a little mini kitchen zone over here. Mm -hmm. These are the sculptures by your boyfriend's dad. Mm -hmm. All of these are um, keeps for sure. This is this like a decorative kind of thing, yeah. like having the map up. We don't have to keep it there, but I do want to keep it. And then tiles, we could probably store somewhere, like the right? IKEA thing. Oh, I think good. Probably. Okay, so we'll store this with IKEA stuff. This is a modem she has to save, so we'll probably put that down there as well. Mm -hmm. And what are these? Are these those were cabinet uh, samples? And I just I wanted to do craft with them, but I haven't. I don't know what to do with them, but I I just think they're so cute. I'm not a hoarder. I promise. <laughs> Hmm. What do you guys think? I mean, you can definitely let us know in the comments. Do you think she should keep these tiles? She's a craftsperson, so. I mean, a bad craftsperson. <laughs> She's like, a craftsperson has the idea of doing the crafts. Okay, if you don't do the crafts in the next, like, three to six months. Yeah. They gotta go. Yeah. That's, yeah. That'll be the final decision. I'm not gonna push her. I do have Because they're colorful. Box. Okay. But you want them out on display, like it's fine I to have them mind. out. We can yeah. Move them. I don't really. Mind. I think it looks fine. This whole zone is pretty much set up. We're just gonna like clean it up a little bit, and then get all the drawers to be. Oh, and we're gonna move this. We're gonna relocate her. What is? What do they call those? Raclette. A raclette machine. machine. Yeah. And we're gonna store it up here. My classic French raclette machine. Yeah, um, Caroline, yesterday she had one too. I was like, what yeah. is this raclette thing? Oh, you have to have one if you live in France. <laughs> oh, I need to, I want to get one just like I feel like I'm living in France. You should. Oh well, my God. Potato, well, you put the cheese over potatoes <sighs> and you can have charcuterie like meat oh if you gosh. want. Oh my gosh, that sounds <laughs> heavenly. All yeah. of it sounds delicious. All right, so we're going to clean up this zone and then um, I think we'll be done with the entryway. Sin tus caderas no puedo cantar. Sin tus caderas no puedo gozar. Sin... We started cleaning off this zone and she like looked at the tiles and she's like, what the heck am I gonna do with these? That thing. So they're pretty to look at, but I don't think I'm gonna do anything. Yeah, recycled. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Once we started moving things around and she actually picked them up and touched them and really thought about it, it was an easy decision to make. There was no way she was going to do anything with those tiles. I knew it, she knew it, but it takes time to really come to peace with our final decisions to let things go. And that is why decluttering is a process. So be patient with yourselves, give yourself some time and some space mull things over it's okay and you might surprise yourself with what you're willing to let go of and say goodbye to we figured this out so she's got her protein powders her coffee syrup right here by her Nespresso and then she's got her Nespresso pods, some of her little sugar substitute things and for when you're leaving the house, mm -hmm. little mask zone. I feel like that's good. I love it. Yeah, that's good, right? Yeah, that's very, that's perfect for this door. Okay, so yeah. let's figure out the other two. <laughs> so we're gonna start a guinea pig bin. Uh, with all of this stuff that's for them. The snacks, a brush, which they hate, <laughs> uh, nail clippers, which they hate the most, oh. um, extra medication just in case, okay. and then these things are for like their accessories, um, but that's it. Okay, so that's Thanks. all for them. Okay, perfect. Yeah. We're gonna sort of a bin for her um, gardening things. She doesn't have that much stuff, so we're gonna use one of these smaller ones, but these are the seeds. 
What are these things? The Those you put like the vines against the, oh, gosh, the bowl or whatever. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I'm not. I'm a horrible gardener. <laughs> yeah, I don't know the names for any of it. Okay, and these are all seeds. Yeah. Seeds. Is this part of it too? No, that's actually I forgot. That's for the pigs. Oh, okay. So this yeah. go in the pig bin. Whoops. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Great. Entryway is done. We are moving on to the kitchen. We took all of her pantry items out. We're gonna sort through, see if there's anything expired, anything to let go of. But everything else that we're keeping, we're gonna make her a pantry zone. So we'll kind of like put similar things together, like all the canned goods. We're gonna do like a new spice area for her, maybe in here. And then we'll clear out these shelves, just do a little cleaning and this will be like her pantry cupboard, if we can fit it all in there. And if not, we'll start another drawer maybe up here so it's a little bit more accessible for you. I'm taking a coffee break and I'm gonna feed my first skinny pig. Let's see if he'll take it. You can trust me. He's smelling it, but he won't take it. Yes, oh, he took it. <laughs> <laughs> They're mainly supposed to eat like um, Bell peppers, cucumber, lettuce. Oh, so healthy. You guys are on my kind of diet. Okay, so more baking things over there. Like the spice rack and the baking in here. Maybe. Okay, yeah, that's good. And um, then do you have more like, do you want more like canned goods and like pastas and beans and stuff? Um, I was thinking maybe. Or do you want that kind of thing? Yeah. Or breads and. So maybe we could put some cans at the top of, I have like multiples of something. Okay. Or like, especially like um, these dried ones, they're kind of like, these three especially are like backups. Okay. So these could go on the top. Okay. Um, Something I access all the time is this rice. Okay. Um, I do use these often. Um, but these could also go in like technically the baking area, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I use peanut butter a lot. Okay, so that's bottom shelf. Use this fake Nutella a lot. Okay. <laughs> um, rice I cakes, use these a lot. The rice bottom. cakes, yeah. Okay. So uh, that's pasta you use all the time. Pasta, so all of this pasta yeah. stuff, bottom shelf. Okay, and perfect. Honestly, I just have to combine. There's like so little left. Okay. Is there another box of it? No. Oh, okay. That's the last of it. Organized her pantry cabinet. This is all the stuff that she uses regularly. She has her pastas back there, some more pasta and noodles, a few different tomato sauces, rice is in the back, more pasta. These are like snack thingies and tortillas, crackers. And then she has her Nutella and her peanut butter up front. So this is super accessible. This is the tea zone. All of this is tea, this is a little hot chocolate. 
Um, her boyfriend's a big tea drinker. So we have all of that tea. And then the top shelf is stuff that she doesn't have to access regularly. It's like all the extra canned goods and jars of like lentils and beans. We could do it like that and the shelf fries are there. Let me yeah, let's see. gather the spices. They're all over the place right oh, now. Yeah, I think that could work. Actually, we should put this back on. Trying to figure out what to do with her spices, like how to set them up. Is this all of them here? Yeah. That's it? Oh, that's not yeah. too bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then some loose ones. Okay, and these are Tupperware. Oh, one of those needs to be washed. That's gross. Okay. Probably, probably from the orange inside. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know there is more of these, but they, they might be in the dishwasher right now. So there's these, Tupperware, these, Tupperware, and these. Tupperware. And there's this big one. I don't know if they can fit in there. Okay. And, there and then there's this one, which is also a different one. <laughs> Yeah. Do you want to keep all of these? Yeah, I don't like to throw them out until they like, because I break things. Okay. So I prefer. And you have lids for these? Yeah. Okay. So, so we'll put that there. These are so cute. I know it's a bit ridiculous, but I prefer to keep old ones, even if they're ugly, and then eventually they just they die. Yeah. So. <laughs> and you'll get rid of them then. Then I've got this one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there is another one of this. We found it earlier. I don't know where we put it. And we can use one of these for like lids if you want. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, um, are we stack them over yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. And this is also lens. Yeah. And then lids. These are for like um, you can put them on like fruit or bowls. Okay. So they just are by themselves. This is a lunch box. Maybe. It's two o'clock. We're nearing like almost four hours worth of work. We're going for the gold though. She is now <laughs> cutting. With like, I don't even think she has real scissors. She's cutting like child scissors <laughs> to try to get this um, kind of like grip paper down for this top drawer. And um, we're gonna organize all of her spatulas and spoons and things like that. 
we put the potatoes in this little basket, or I did, because I think that looks so cute and very French to me. How can you not have your potatoes in a basket like this? Adding these drawer dividers made such a huge difference. I think it's really necessary. When you have a drawer of this size, you need something to break things up into different categories. Otherwise, things are just rolling around in there loose. And these are pretty big drawers. So at this point, we are doing the Lord's work. We are really dedicated and we were we were in it to win it. We broke everything up into small categories. We micro-organized to our heart's content. It was actually really satisfying to give every single item its own home and its own space. There's a chopstick zone. We gave the forks and spoons that are wooden their own little area. Yeah, it was great. We really got into the zone here. <sighs> oh, yeah. Okay, so that's to organize all the pots. Yeah, and we can move the like things that are in the middle to make it any size. Oh, perfect. Okay, so we're going to try this pot organizer. We finished this kind of like Tupperware baking pans drawer. We got this all organized. We ended up doing a Lazy Susan in here for the spices. And then she's got her napkins. She uses these for all kinds of stuff. Her rubber bands are at least organized now. Spices, oils, vinegars, up here, all of those kind of cooking tools. And then we got this drawer hyper organized with like the chopsticks, the recyclables, all of that stuff. It looks really good. Okay, this it's this, and then it's just these two center ones, which are like cleaning supplies, and we're pretty mm -hmm. much done. And then we're gonna do the countertop. Yeah. Woo! Okay, so we have a couple of those. Those probably won't really work at the oh, bottom, okay. but we can use them for something else. So okay. this whole zone I think is good. This is like immediate cleaning, dishwashing, trash bags, clots for cleaning the countertop, wipes. And then down here, we'll put all of our more heavy duty cleaning supplies at the bottom. Pots and pans, let's see if that will. So if I just put the bowl for now on top of the. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I don't think it'll fit over there. Yeah, I don't know if it stays I mean, I think it looks good. It's like wine, beer, liquor. That's just like a empty box. So I think this looks pretty good. We can maybe move some of the bottles over there a little bit just to put them all together. cabinets with her mugs and her glassware, her plates, her bowls. Um, are these your blenders, mm -hmm. right? And then up here is the stuff that she doesn't access as frequently. So some to-go container cups and some extra mugs for when company comes over. All good. I think we did all the cabinets. Am I missing? Wait. We did the liquor mm -hmm. cabinet. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. We did all that. We did her pants. It looks so good. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so now we're gonna do the countertop. Okay. Okay, let's see what's next. <laughs> oh. oh, that is so pretty. And the, the big tower on the 
left is the Montparnasse Tower. Is that the black building? The yeah. tall black building? Mm -hmm. Samson would be so jealous right now. Samson's my dog. <laughs> He'd be very jealous. Is this macchiato? Yes. And, oh, hi, this is macchiato. Hi. Look at those eyes. He's so cute. <laughs> oh my god, I love him. of work today we put in. Yeah. How are you feeling about it? I am amazed. <laughs> no, but I'm just I'm so thrilled. Like uh, I didn't I didn't think it was possible. <laughs> I feel like by making these zones you have so yeah. much more space. So it's just two empty shelves on this entryway unit that aren't even being used yet. Yeah. And this part like so you can even yeah you can still hang mugs over there. You can put things like yeah. it looks so good. So I'm very happy with the entryway. I'm very happy with this zone. And then the kitchen, it's like, everything is hyper organized. We really like broke it all down. And I'm happy with like your spice drawer, the Lazy Susan thing. Yeah. And I love how, yeah, I don't know why this like really feeds my brain to have like- I really like it. This like separated with like the chopsticks and the wooden <laughs> spoons. So all of this is like yeah. incredible. Which yeah. I'm super happy with, cause I was, I think I just wasn't using the space enough. Cause this drawer is the same space as the other drawer. I just wasn't using it as well. As yeah, can. like adding that shelf riser to yeah. that drawer really helps. And it's nice that this is all like the baking zone stuff. This is all the cooking and snack stuff. And then I also like that your spices are right here next to the stove. Yeah. So easy access. I love it. Yeah, oh yeah, and then cleaning. Oh yeah, yeah. this is great. Cause I was not using this drawer at all very well. I just stuck some bags in it. Even organized the bags. So she has plastic recyclable bags down at the bottom. And I hope you're happy with it. I'm so happy, thank you so much. Oh yeah, I'm happy you're happy. Cause I'm very happy with it. Thank you so much for thank you for helping me. You deserve like a million cookies. I so appreciate it. Make sure to check her out. I'm going to leave her information below the video in the description box. She's a very talented writer. And leave us comments. Let us know what you think of her kitchen and how we organized it and how we set everything up. And see you in the next video. Bye.